Good evening, everybody. It's Zachariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to a very fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who was life in line of duty in 2021. And sadly, tonight I'm running for another fallen fire captain who have lost his life in line of duty. Tonight I'm running for fallen fire captain Darcy Stallings. He worked with the Yuma Volunteer Fire Department in Colorado, and his end of watch was uh, his last alarm was October 21st, 2021 and lost his life after he was involved in an automobile accident while he was responding to a residential fire call in his privately owned vehicle. He was 34 years old at his passing, serving nine years of total with the Yuma Volunteer Fire Department and leaves behind a wife and two young children. Tonight I'll be running with the blue line flag in his honor. Sorry, the red line flag, I apologize. The red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track of my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be joined tonight by the Winter Springs Police Department patrolling with us. We're all joined by my sister and one other supporter joining us in a one-mile run, as well as our whole entire family. Even though it seems like there's just me and two of us running at the same time, there's even more running, and it's all the fall night I've ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight, including fallen fire captain Darcy Stallings. Before the run starts, I'm going to a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hard time we're going through, and then I'll be on my way. For those that are tuning in tonight, tonight Zachariah now running his second mile of the evening. This mile tonight in honor of a fallen firefighter, fallen fire captain Darcy Stallings. He served with the Yuma Volunteer Fire Department from the state of Colorado. His last alarm, October the 21st, 2021. Tragically losing his life after being involved in an automobile accident while responding to a residential fire call in his privately owned vehicle. He was just 34 years old at the time of his passing, sadly leaving behind a wife as well as two young children. He also served a total of nine years with the Yuma Volunteer Fire, uh, Fire Department, Zechariah, now completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile tonight in honor of fallen fire captain, Darcy Stallings. We always appreciate every agency that comes out and helps honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah and tonight, helping to honor fallen fire captain Darcy Stallings. We have a member of our hometown agency, the Winter Springs Police Department. Also running with Zechariah tonight, we have his little sister. We also have another supporter here tonight as well to help honor this fallen hero. Once again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to a nine year veteran of the Yuma Volunteer Fire Department, Colorado, fallen fire captain Darcy Stallings, who tragically on October the 21st, 2021, lost his life after being involved in an automobile accident while responding to a residential fire call. Just 34 years old at the time of his passing, like I said, he served a total of nine years as a volunteer for the Yuma Volunteer Fire Department in Colorado, and he leaves behind a wife as well as two young children. Zachariah now completing his second of seven laps to honor Fire Captain Darcy Stallings tonight. For every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor tonight. Zechariah carrying the red line flag in honor of fallen fire captain Darcy Stallings. This flag, along with a handwritten note, will get sent to the family shortly after this run concludes. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, please visit running4heroes.org. We'll also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can be a part of this mission. I'm going to go silent, starting on this next lap. I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero, nine-year veteran of the Yuma Volunteer Fire Department, Colorado, fallen fire captain Darcy Stallings. We extend our heartfelt prayers to the Yuma Volunteer Fire Department. We also extend our prayers to his wife and to his two young children. 
We hope they know how much their loved one was a hero. We hope this run honors them well, and that we never forget fallen fire captain Darcy Stallings. Zachariah, any final words to the family? Fallen fire captain, 
Darcy Stallings. So the whole family fall on fire, Captain Darcy Stallings. Everybody's the Yuma Volunteer Fire Department in Colorado. His wife, his two young children, the rest of his family, as well as all of his friends that he made while serving. We hope you all heal very soon to the passing of your loved one. Uh, Fire Captain Darcy Stallings is just 34 years old at the time of his passing. He served nine years as a volunteer with this agency or this department. During his nine years, I bet that he served his community well, loved being able to help out his community every single day he went volunteering on the ships. And I know deep down he was a true hero and lost his life too soon. If you are part of the family to help you all heal, I'll be sending you the shoreline flag that I ran with tonight in your hero's honor very soon as was a handwritten note that I've already written and is ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There's no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the note, but whatever you do with it, we will find comfort. Every single time you look at our fallen hero, Fire Captain Darcy Stallings, will never be forgotten down here in Florida and throughout the whole entire nation. Our prayers are going to continue to stay with you and your family. And speaking of prayers, if all of you now like to join me in a 21 second moment of silence, just like a 21 gun salute, each second day, okay, one amazing thing Fire Captain Stallings did during his life, including as a fire captain, maybe an accomplishment he made during his life or life he saved as well. If all of you please bow our heads this 21 second moment of silence to help out the family, please do right now. Thank you all for joining us in that 21 seconds. Like I said, it does mean so much to the whole family. If you did bow heads and join us in that 21 seconds, honor this fallen fire cabin tonight. Now for more time, if all you bow heads, it's time for a prayer for the both young fire captain and officer we unfortunately had to run for on this Wednesday night. Dear God, tonight we've had to come out here to run for two first responders, both very young into their careers in their 30s and only served a total of just over 25 years of service. Uh, while serving, just under 25 years of service while serving, and lost our life too soon in an unexpected act. God, first of all, watch over the family and department through the unthinkable hard times they're going through. Through this loss of an unexpected loved one, it would mean a lot for them to have lots of support. So please guide them to this run. Use her as a tool to help anybody going through a hard time heal. That includes their wife, their children, their rest of their family, their department, and anybody else going through a hard time. Guide them to this run so they can find comfort through a difficult time here tonight. God, I know we still have at least one mile to do uh, on Friday. Uh, so continue to watch our first responders. Let's hope we that we don't have to do any more on Friday as well. Thank you, God, again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you all for joining us in these two runs. Like I said, it does mean so much to the whole family. Families, if you did join us in these two runs, please continue to spend, send much of encouragement. Uh, in the chat to these families because when they see this run it will mean a lot to show that they have more support for the whole entire nation as well thank you all for watching hope you all have a great and safe rest of your wednesday evening especially your first ball ring tonight i hope you stay safe and i pray god blesses you all